in Chiawassee County, the newly appointed sheriff there is coming into office with a criminal record from four years ago. McCoy Scribner has been following the story all day for us. He's here for you now with a closer look after talking with Sheriff Chapman. Following former Sheriff Brian Begole's recent move to the Michigan Legislature, Shiawassee County needed to find someone to fill the vacancy, and county officials moved to appoint Doug Chapman for the job. But as we turn back the clock four years ago to 2018, Chapman is coming into the position with a criminal record. State police say two troopers were dispatched in reference to someone who was stopped in the middle of an entrance ramp to eastbound I-69 from N-71. When they got there, state police found Chapman asleep in the driver's seat. When he came to, Chapman rolled the window down, and that's when troopers noticed a strong odor of intoxicants coming from the vehicle. State police say troopers tried to give him roadside sobriety tests, but Chapman refused to cooperate, and they took him into custody. He did, although, agree to a breathalyzer test, where he blew a .19 on one test and .17 coming from his second results. Under Michigan law, .08 is considered intoxicated. State police say troopers also took two firearms from Chapman's vehicle during the stop, the Lansing City Pulse reports in a plea deal, the firearms possession was dismissed and both weapons were returned to him. Now I came over to Shawasi County to hopefully get some answers, but officials aren't saying much. Among the appointment committee, County Clerk Caroline Wilson and Prosecuting Attorney Scott Kerner were not available for comment. But according to the Lansing City Pulse, Wilson said she was unaware of the incident, but it wouldn't have made a difference and Judge Thomas Dignan declined to comment. However, I was able to talk to Chapman off camera, who openly admits to his wrongdoings and says he's a changed man since then, saying, quote, what would we be as human beings if we turned our back on someone who got in trouble or made a mistake? What would we be? Here for you in Shawasee County, McCoy Scribner, 6 News.